Hi, I'm Joshua Swift. I'm a certified arborist with Extreme Tree Company. This video shows you how we repaired a branch out on a small fruit tree that had broken off in a snowstorm. There are three steps to take when you're reattaching a branch. Um, first, you want to, um, before you even start, you want to make sure that you still have wood attached to the tree that it can um, continue to grow from. Um, otherwise, it's wasting your time. So if you still have enough wood to work with um, to give life to the branch, then it can be reattached. And you're going to start with doing a weight reduction pruning. So coming out to the top, you can see I've made a one, two, three cuts on this branch to get rid of some of the weight. Our second step, I've just used a simple um, flat webbing. And this you can buy from... Um, sometimes at Lowe's or you can get it from a rock climbing store or order it online. Um, and this is tied directly across to support the weight of the branch. Now this branch would fall down right now without the webbing. And then the third step is to add threaded rod um, to it just above the broken joint. So um, very simple to, to do. It's been about half an hour on it this morning. And I'm, I'm hopeful that this spring the branch won't um, show any signs of um, of dying. I think there's enough life at the base for it to continue to thrive and um, the bolt's not going to harm the tree at all either. Um, it's The tree will just continue to grow right around the bolt and that'll strengthen this joint um, forever. The webbing will need replaced um, in about a year or two. I'll come back and inspect it but, but this is um, temporary webbing. There's more permanent ways to cable trees but this is just the fast and cheapest way to do it.